has been since it's been about a month and a half since I last put up a vlog. So here we go. Okay, so last time I did a vlog was when it was when I still had my Disney pass, which currently is blocked until about August, mid-August. And mid-August, I'll get my pass back just to go to California Adventure, which I'm fine with. Um, but today is a different day. It is, and my card just skid, my 27th birthday as of today. That's right. I was given birth to on this day 27 years ago. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, it's really, that's why I've been kind of lagging with putting up a vlog lately, is one, work, I've still been piling on, I've still been given, like, a lot of work hours, and, you know, I'm taking advantage of it, so I've been prioritizing everything to work, um, over YouTubing for a little while. Um, next week, rather, yeah, next week, got a big road trip coming up Sunday night, it's gonna be with me, Glam, Mark, and one parent. <laughs> so that's gonna be a whole nother vlog. I think I'll just do the same thing like I did with the last big road trip one was um I'll use my phone for editing. Yeah, as uh if y'all jump on the Wi Fi over there it's gonna take forever. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna bring my phone, and that will be my editing. It's not gonna be as, um, it's not gonna be as, this is not gonna be as much as I like. Although I will try and dabble in more vlogging elements and B-rolls and stuff like that. Uh, this coming, uh, from here on out. At least I'll try to. Um. But, you know, an attempt is an attempt either way. Uh, on my way out right now, just me. Um, beautiful day out, despite the clouds. But it's a beautiful day out. I'm on my way over right now to church. And then flipping over, heading back the other way towards the cemetery. Because, yeah, I have to fulfill those, you know, those duties as a son and as a nephew to say at least a few prayers to my parents and to my aunt and to everyone else in the family who's passed on <laughs> so I know it's been a very long time and I hope you guys are having a very awesome day except for my co-workers who are probably working right now <laughs> and a lot of them are and you know, whoever watches it, you, pro you guys are probably thinking that I requested today off. I actually didn't. <laughs> um, I actually did not even request today off. Um, I think either my my boss gave me the day off because it's my birthday, or I just happened to, like, my, my day off for today just happens to land on today. So... I'll take the ladder, and I'll just say my boss gave it to me as a birthday gift. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. I love it. Either way, it's a day off, and it's on my birthday. Um, unless I get time and a half on my birthday, which I probably will never get, unless my birthday happens to be on a holiday, then that in and of itself is a whole different story. Um, I know in my last vlog my the one my last Disney vlog um, I said I was gonna do a kind of a, a bit of a review about my Nike react pressos which I currently have on again um, and here's that review so these are my Nike react prestos um, so you can see big react foam here along the midsole and the outsole the cage and the mesh and it is a very, very comfortable shoe. Um, 
I wore them straight up at Disneyland for literally, I think, the six and a half, seven hours we were there. Um, and the whole time, literally, my feet were not even aching. I said that about my Ultra Boosts, I think, when I, a few months after I got those, or a few weeks after I got them, I took those to Disneyland. I, uh, and at the time, I, I was saying, those, those shoes are definitely going to be my Disney shoes. But then these came out, and I'm like, ooh, whew. that's a definite switch up. So now in the la in the in the grand scheme of it all, my Ultra Boosts are second place, my React Prestos are first place, and my regular Legend Reacts are third place. As far as comfy shoes for Disneyland goes. <laughs> no, but really though, in the whole thing, my Nike React Prestos or Presto Reacts, whatever they're called officially. Um they're really, really comfy, and if it's like a windy-ish day, it, today's not one of those days, though, um, the wind literally blows right through the mesh, and it is a very comfortable and unique feeling if you're not used to wearing mesh, uh, shoes with mesh in them during a windy-ish day. So, do I recommend people buy them? Yes. They... You know, a lot of people think when they hear Sneakerhead, they think, oh, Yeezys, Jordans, um, you know, those, those kinds of shoes. These shoes, in particular, are not really that expensive. If you think about it, comparing it to the Jordans and the Yeezys, these shoes are actually 120 After tax, it should be, depending on where you live, if, if it's in the Inland Empire, it might be 130 even or 129 and some change. Or it could be 130, you know, right here in my area, in the West Covina area. So, I think they're worth the buy. You know, for 120 bucks, 130 bucks after tax, you know, that's a really good deal. Um, and I recommend them to anyone who's into the whole lifestyle thing of just straight up walking and, um, or sneakerheads alike. Sneakerheads alike or just, you know, lifestyle people. <laughs> that sh The shoe is for you. I recommend it. Um, not a lot of colorways are out right now for this shoe. I have the... I guess the official color would be called the Chatty Matador. I don't know. Uh, I might call them the Bread Prestos because they're black and red. I don't know. <laughs> um... But there's a few other colorways. Um, there's I'm not gonna put them up. I'm just gonna mention them and then just do your research. So one of the other colorways is like a bumblebee color or raving honey, whatever it's called. It's like black and yellow. From what I first heard, those thing that color is actually exclusive to online purchases. But then I met a dude a few weeks ago who bought them for less than retail. I'm like, why? How? <laughs> so, he got it for 70 bucks, and I'm kind of jealous that he got him in for that low. But, you know, I got my pair first. <laughs> um, but, you know, either way, it's a very comfortable shoe. The Bumblebee colorway is one of the more exclusives. I would get that colorway. It's black and yellow. It's actually really, it's nice. Um, they also have a kind of a summery color. I think it's like lava lamp or something. Then there's beach ball. I think there's one like drooling panda or rabid panda or something like that. Um, and I think supposedly this summer or this fall they're going to drop the all black and the black and whites. I don't know yet. But, I would love to get my hand on the all blacks so I can wear them for work. <laughs> you know, be comfortable, yet be very, very stylish at the same time. Um, but yeah, no, that shoe is a definite buy for 
for those that want a good lifestyle shoe that's all about comfort and minimals. Because according to, you know, if you've seen the sneak, the Nike's sneaker lineup of the Prestos, this is the second iteration of the Prestos in, I think in its entirety. I can't remember if they have, no, I think this might technically be a third because they have the regular caged, then they have the uncaged, and then now they have these. So I think it technically might be three iterations, but two as far as the product goes. I don't know. Um, but that's the, I guess that would be my little mini review for these shoes. Switching gears back to the regular vlog. Made it over by the church. And yeah. <sighs> 27. Whew. <laughs> I was thinking about actually making a vlog today. I was like, should I make a vlog? I've done it for the past several years. So then when I said that little phrase in my head, I'm like, you know what? I might as well just keep the streak going. Might as well just keep the vlog. Oh, crap. Might as well just keep the vlog going. Let it run. And I think there is a mess today because there's usually never this many cars. So, on that note... <laughs> I will see you guys in about a few minutes. I have a church mass to attend to. And I will come back and we will make our way over to the cemetery. Oh, back to one last thing to note about these Presto Reacts and the way that I've been wearing uh, and the way that I've been using them for the past, I guess, week. No, past about two weeks or so. Um... I have literally worn them in grass, regular concrete, ran with them a little bit. Um, the running is actually very bouncy. Um, there's a bit of, more of a pushback or some kind of give that kind of bounces back into your feet when you kind of do a little, a little bit of light jogging. I'm not talking like, you know, run your normal like loop or five mile run or something like that. No. These are not made for that. These are made for kind of like if you are going from your house to your car, assuming you park from, like assuming you park on the street, or if you're running from your mall, from the mall to the car, and it's like you parked a, way, a ways away, and it's, um, oh my god, what's this car doing? Does this guy have a backup camera? Alright, I got, like, I'm worried for my car right now because this dude might freaking... Oh my god, that was sketchy. <laughs> um, what was I saying before I got scared by this damn... Well, that's a Lincoln. <laughs> um, you know, this is not made for hardcore heavy running. These shoes are made more for very very light jogging like if you're trying to run from point a to point b that's pretty much it simple lifestyle anyway i gotta get to church talk to you guys in a second okay here i am first at the cemetery well second stop of the day i already went to <laughs> i already finished at church they were doing a baptism so not really a mass that's why it was packed so here i am just at the cemetery, just spending a bit of time first with the lady who took us in after both my parents went, my aunt, and then I'm going to visit my parents, kind of a little ways down the, down the way, that way, <laughs> or whichever way I just showed, but either way, they're kind of down that way somewhere, so, hope you guys are having an awesome day, my day is just very relaxed right now, I'm just... You know, as a kid, my mom kind of ingrained this tradition of if it's your birthday, especially for birthdays, always go to the church. And if you have loved ones in a cemetery that you can get to, go to that one too. Um, I'd love to visit all my other relatives, but they're kind of buried overseas. Yeah, I'd love to, but I can't. 
financially strapped. Can't do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, my both my mom, my dad, and my aunt kind of engraved this tradition hard in my head. So living their lessons on from here. <laughs> well, since for the past several years, I've been doing this. Much, uh, have been just acknowledging this tradition. So it's a nice little thing. It's a it's a gesture, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm just offering a bit of some prayers, and I'll take you guys over to my parents in just a second. Oh. This is turning into an eventful morning. <laughs> um, fueled up my tank, and now waiting for the car wash. And this time, I know a few vlogs back I mentioned about you know if I'm the only one in the car wash, then all of a sudden like there'll be about like 15 or like five more people that come in like two minutes afterwards. I was the other way around. There was actually a whole bunch of people here first. And I'm like the last one sticking out of the damn line. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, my car really needs a wash because look, if you can see the window, it's literally like two tones. Like right here, it's clear. Over there, it's all like dusty and murky. And then my moonroof is... <laughs> I'm angling it this way so you can kind of see a la the layer of dust and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of painting that I catch up with on this car. And my windows are like, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but they're kind of dusty in their own right. So yeah, my car is getting a bur my car is getting a wash, <laughs> and you know I'm getting stuff done. Um, yeah, filled up my car, gonna wash it, and I'm getting pizza. But the odd thing about today is I'm actually, and I know this is gonna give me a lot of flag with my coworkers and my friends and whatever, but I chose kind of not to celebrate it this year. I mean, yeah, I am celebrating it, but I don't know, the day of, t like, for today, I'm, I can't. There's just something missing that I'm that I kind of want with the birthday mood for today. Um, I miss. There's something missing that I really want to have with me. Let me see if I can prop the camera up. Okay, hopefully, it stays right there. The reason is because I'm actually going to change out the band on my watch. Um, but yeah, there was something missing about today's festivities that just kind of took the mood. Uh, that just today in particular, uh, it took the mood out of me. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's just the mood's been taken out of me for today. Um. But, you know, nevertheless, it is my birthday. I turned 27 today. Um, and, yeah. It's pretty much my little diary, in a way, for today. <laughs> um, yeah, hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's, at least up until the guests come by, it's a regular day. Um, so, I'm just... Uh, Going through the motions, as one would say. <laughs> okay, so... Kind of had to skip through <laughs> a bit of the vlogging. Mainly because I had to get the pizza. Got my free drink from Starbucks. And now time to head home. So, um, yeah. Whew, it's been a long day. Then the car wash, like... There was at least maybe six, from what I could see, like six other cars that were all waiting to get their car washes. And, whew, it's ridiculous. Um, gonna head home and uh, just change up and get ready. I think we got people coming over, but like I said, I think it's not about me today. Like, even though it is my birthday, I'm not gonna be actually doing celebrating per se. It's gonna be more about, you know, my uncle's brother, who I share a birthday with. Um, 
That way it's easier on all of us. You know, just one person, I'm kidding. They'll probably give me a few things, but hey, thank you. <laughs> and I don't know, I mean, thank you, by the way, to everyone who's been wishing me happy birthday on social media, Facebook, texting, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, Twitter. Thank you, thank you. Very, very much appreciated. Um, and the weather kind of got slightly more... Well, it's not overcast, but there are a lot more clouds in the sky than there were before, so... Um, and there's that. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little bit kind of offset right now. My head is... I'm literally just trying to drive out of the driveway and get into the, get into the street. Whoo! Long day. I'm in. I'm literally in sweats. I'm kind of bummed out in a sense. And I just seen right now. I gotta charge my camera because it is halfway. So <laughs> it's a good day. Getting some stuff done. Being productive. And uh, yeah. And this is the pizza. Two boxes. Let's get it. Been home. Been home for about an hour. Um, yeah. Birthday prep is still going on. I'm just literally chilling. I'm gonna play some Forza. <laughs> um, it's a good day right now. And uh, yeah, just basically just resting until the day starts. Until the until well, more people start coming in. <laughs> it's a nice and easy day. Party's getting slowly underway. Nico and girlfriend of Nico. <laughs> Is that gonna be your thing now? Pop the collar every time. <laughs> we bought uh, ice cream cake. So I kind of, I kind of skipped over the whole day because I was just hanging with a bunch of friends and family. But I have a vlog. I'll put it up tomorrow or Monday. Subscribe down below. Follow on social media. See you guys in the next one.